Oh. Hello, what's going on? My name is Amanda and this is my channel all about ice cream. I would really love if you would subscribe. I have a goal of 300 subscribers by August, so please help me achieve that and subscribe below. So tomorrow is the 4th of July and I don't really have any plans. Julie and I are just gonna kinda take it easy at home, relax. I think we're gonna have a wine and cheese night. It's gonna be really nice. Since last week was my birthday, I have been showered with presents. I am so thankful for all my lovely friends that have gotten me gifts. Two of my coworkers are amazing and they got me some ice cream related gifts that I wanted to show you. So shout out to Tika at my work. Got me this cool keychain. I love it. It's already on my keys. I think it's adorable and it's so cute. Always wanted an ice cream keychain. I just never really found one, so this is perfect. Yay, thank you. And then Chandler at my work got me something really cool. An ice cream sandwich mold. Ice cream sandwich maker. It is so cute. It's shaped like an ice cream sandwich and it makes four old school classic ice cream sandwiches. Perfect for a summer treat. The 4th of July. Definitely what we're making today. So I'm really excited. She also got me some really cute little containers that I can put leftover ice cream bits in so i'm really thankful so that's what i'm making today ice cream sandwiches and now i was thinking of like what flavor ice cream i should make to put in it julian suggested i just make a classic vanilla bean it's kind of against my rules of just making really boring ice cream but i think it would be a great first flavor for this it even came with a little recipe book this is what it looks like looks like an ice cream sandwich how cool just came with a little spatula. I love it. Let's get started. So I'm starting off on the stove by heating up one and a half cups of half and half. Then I'm gonna slit one vanilla bean and carefully scrape out the seeds and put everything into the pot. So in a mixing bowl, I'm gonna take a quarter teaspoon of salt, four eggs, and one cup of sugar and mix it up. Once the eggs and sugar are mixed together, I'm gonna to slowly temper it with my warm half and half vanilla mixture. When about half is mixed in, I'm gonna bring it all back on the stove and literally stand here for 10 minutes and let it warm up slowly. I don't want my eggs to curdle. I want it to be thick, but not scrambled eggs. And then I'm just gonna strain it into a clean bowl. Once it's been cooling for about a few minutes, I'm gonna add one cup of heavy cream, stir that in, cover it and let it chill in my fridge for about an hour. Then it's time to churn it. Usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes to churn a batch of ice cream. So after that, I'm just gonna put it into a container and let it freeze for a few hours. All right, so on to making the sandwich pieces. I'm just gonna take the molds and put them on a baking tray and spray them with a little bit of coconut oil. Then in my mixer, I'm going to mix all these ingredients together slowly, one at a time. And I'm gonna scrape down the sides as I go. And at the end, it should look like cake batter. Okay, so it only takes one tablespoon of chocolate to fill up each mold. I'm just gonna use my spatula to spread it out and then make sure to tap out all the air bubbles. In the booklet, it said to flatten them down. I really don't think this did much, but now they just need to cool in my fridge for about 20 minutes. Now we can just put on the centerpiece of the mold and fill it up with ice cream. I think I made the mistake of adding a bit too much ice cream, but I don't regret it. Put the other half on tightly and then just let it freeze for about an hour.
taste better than like the store bought ones. Mm -hmm. You can hear a fireworks going off in the distance everywhere. Like a gym. Oh. So we're just hanging out on our patio, listening to the fireworks in the distance, eating our sandwiches. Last year I made a birthday cake ice cream for the 4th of July and that was really good. I'll link that video below. This year we're just taking it easy, watching some movies, having our wine and cheese. Ah, literally explosives every two minutes. Oh my god, these are so melted. Eight to um Me. hope you like this week's video. It was super fun to try the classic ice cream sandwich. Thanks to Chandler for getting me that great birthday present. There's so many fireworks going off everywhere. Like the video if you like the flavor and help me get to 300 subscribers by August and subscribe below. Alright, I'll see you later. <laughs>